He'll be played by Crowder in the neutral zone. He'll skate into the attack zone. He'll start Quattro to the right. He'll hand it off to Barton. He'll sneak in the shot. Five hole. He scores. Good drop pass that time by Crowder. And Barton, who leads the team in goal scored with 20, now notches his 21st of the season. And that one giving the Nailers the 1-0 lead. Tom of the tally at 6.09 in. By Hanson, he'll weave it to the left circle. Veyu, pass stripped away this time by the K-Wings. They'll work it out with Sirota. Has a man cutting to the net, it's Carlander. Sirota takes the shot himself, he scores! Sorota took the shot and got stuck in the corner of the net. The Howitzer and the shorthander as the K-Wings tie it at one. His team best 22nd of the season. He'll be taken away by McNeil with 9.50 to go third period. He'll be played over to Fergus. He'll carry it up the left wing. Can Wheeling build on the momentum of killing off a two-man advantage? The puck comes to the left wing. The shot back door. Lennis scores. Lennis comes off the glass and starts banging on it as he celebrates the tally. His 11th of the season, and the Nailers take a 2-1 lead. 56 to go third period. Kalamazoo, playoff hopes in doubt, trailing 2-1 with 3.50 to go in the period. The puck up the right side. Clark takes a shot. Kick saved by Darling. Back to Charlotte. Boy, his shot. He scores! You're my boy, Blue! Joe Shuttleboy answers it for the K-Wings. We are not in it two. Peter Lennis, less celebrational right now as the K-Wing defenseman put it right over Darling. Y takes the shot off the chest that time of Daniels. And here come the K-Wings. Clark in the neutral zone, 10 seconds to go. Last chance, Clark trying to split the defense. Pushes it wide with Hansen there. It goes behind the net with five seconds. Time ticking down. Some pushing and shoving between Hansen and Clark. And the two tie up, and that's going to be... They're going to drop the gloves, and that's idiotic. Hansen's going to take a shootout shooter out of it. The crowd's going to applaud it, but Aaron Clark will not be able to be used in the shootout. And now McNeil's going to... Kalamazoo will shoot first. John Armstrong. Will shoot first, one for three in the shootouts this year. Skates it into the attack zone, high slot backhand, lifted in, poked away by Darling. So the K-Wings, first shooter, Armstrong denied. And it will be Barton. 33.3%, Barton carries up through center, between the circles, takes the shot, he scores. So one nothing in the shootout. Joel Martin coming in as it'll be Grandier between the circles. Takes the shot, went wide. Second shooter for Wheeling. They lead 1 0. Will be two for five in the shootouts, 40%. They you in the attack zone so between the circles on the back end, trying to slide it, lifting it, and he scores. They you 2 0. And the K-Wings behind the eight ball right now. Sam, F will it be Fatorik? He's one for one in shootouts this year. Fatorik skates it out of the blue line. Skates it left circle, keeps the puck. Fakes it, lifting it high, and he misses. So a chance right now as the K-Wings down 2-0. Zach Torquato, he had the game winner in the shootout against Kalamazoo on Wednesday this year. If they win, if he scores, the Nailers win, and the K-Wings are out of the postseason. Tarquato carries it in the attack zone, left circle, slows it up. The backhand takes the shot, he misses. So the K-Wings, playoff hope still alive. And it will come down to Corey Carlander. Carlander, two for five in the shootout this year. Skates it into the attack zone from the right circle. Carlander looks in to Deke. The shot denied by Darling. And it is Darling having words with Corey Carlander. The linesmen are breaking it up. Carlander staying there. But the Wheeling Nailers have ended the K-Wings bid for the postseason. 3-2 shootout winning victory for the Nailers and Kalamazoo's postseason hopes. Discover Kalamazoo postgame show after this on the K-Wings Radio Network.